So, while everybody's talking about the, you know, the presidential primary that took place on Super Tuesday, there were also a lot of really interesting down-ballot races that I think are worth noting, one of which being Cenk Uger's congressional run for California's 25th district. He did not do well whatsoever, and I, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. He did terrible. I think he got 5% of the vote, I think. Um, California does their primaries a little different. Um, they, they call them jungle primaries, where they have um, just everyone kind of participates in the primary together, and then whoever, like Republicans and Democrats, and then whoever gets the, t the top two people who get the most votes, they move on to the general election in November. So you could theoretically have uh, two Democrats or two Republicans in the general election, which um, had, it has happened in some of these races. I'm going to make a later video on, but, um, Jank Uger did not make the top two. He did not make the top three. He got fourth with 5% of the vote. Um, th this was pretty disappointing. I, I was definitely, it was already not the best night. I was like, ah, oh, Bernie's not doing good. Well, let's Jank probably won. Nope. Jank did also not win. Um, so why didn't he win? Well, um, I think that the first most important thing to point out is that he was lambasted by the media with just constant negative coverage. So many hit pieces. There's so they, I mean, there are so many articles he's been taken out of context. People have dug up things that he said for over 30 years ago that he's apologized for uh, 25 years ago already. Um, just every argument he's ever made, misconstrued. People talked about one of one, one of the more um, kind of egregious uh, misconstruing that happened. So he, he did an interview with David Duke, um, who's a pretty, well, be, most people acknowledge that David Duke is a pretty racist person. And um, he did an interview with David Duke. And it was more of a debate than an interview. But he was debating David Duke. And it's, it's a long interview, an hour-long thing of him, you know, t telling David Duke why he's wrong and every little thing. And then um, at the very end of the interview, um, David Duke says, you know, I'm, I'm not a racist, Jenk, just, just so you know. And Jenk goes, yeah, sure, you're not a racist. Very sarcastically. Well, I, I a news outlet took that quote of him sarcastically saying, oh yeah, you're not a racist, and then ran that as if he was saying that David Duke isn't a racist, that that's, that, that is his opinion. Just completely taking him out of contrast. And the, 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 the media outlet had to redact it just because it was so egregious. It was so clearly just trying to make him look bad. And that's just one example. So that is one reason why I don't think that he performed as well as um, a lot of us were hoping. Another reason why I don't think that he performed as well is just um, the, the district he was running in, and I've looked at this, is a more affluent district. It, it, it is more well off. It is more, it, it, it does, uh, it's a it's a swing district, but it's a little more higher income. And, and, and that is a bit significant because as, as unfortunate as it is, a lot of people just vote in their self-interest. They just vote what will benefit them, including people at the top. And so if they think that, oh, this guy, this guy might raise our taxes, um, you know, may, even if it does mean, you know, Medicare for all, even if it does mean free college, they're like, well, I, I have enough money. I can send my kids to college. Um, I can pay for my health care. So they might not support someone like Jake Uger who would raise their taxes. Um, and so I do think that that was significant in, um, in his loss. And then the other thing is just he he was he wasn't from the district and um I do think that it's it's a little silly that that geography p would play such a big role. He he is from California but well, he's from Turkey, but he lives in California currently but he doesn't actually live in the district. Um and that means a lot to some people. A, lo a lot of people that that means a lot to them. Um I think that he would have done great things for the district had he been elected. But he did not get the opportunity, and you know it's just sometimes, it's just it's just not your race. Sometimes it really is that, that that's the fact of the matter. And it you know it's it's nice he was going to leave the Young Turks um, to pursue his congressional bid, so he will be returning to the Young Turks, which is nice. Um, so he will you know r resume um, with all his commentary, which I mean is ultimately it will still be enjoyable for viewers, and I'm sure he'll still get a lot of his message out there. But um. This was definitely a loss for the progressive movement. I'm not, you know, I don't want to sugarcoat it. It was, he could have done a lot of good in Congress. And I think that, I hope it's not the last time that he runs. I hope that more people like him run. There's a lot of progressive commentators, especially in new media, that um, I think would make great, um, great politicians. And I hope that they run someday. Um, Cenk Uger was the first. I really hope that he isn't the last. Um, if you guys disagree with anything I said in this video, please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and have a great day.